Hey guys, this is Blue Bookshelf, back with another Minecraft episode on the world of Setup, right here. Giant tree I made right there, and behind me is the cow farm. You go inside and see all the cows. Not too exciting. Just go with the wheat, hold right click, go back and forth, and then go down below till they grow up, and then get the drops. So right here is where I'm going to build tree farm. Plant tree right there, the dark oak saplings. Um, these and then the tree grows as wide as this area out that's dug down and I'm going to use hoppers to collect the drops so I don't have to go around separately and I think this is going to be big enough if not I can simply make it larger. And let's get started. Whoops. I'm having all the hoppers on this side go into this row so it goes on this side and then I'm going to do the same on the other um, just because I don't know it feels like it would be slightly more efficient that way And I think I have enough hoppers. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if I do, actually. Well, oh, there's one. <laughs> I have bun meal. Um, Alright. I'll get the rest and be back. Alright guys, I'm back. With a more than enough hoppers. To finish this off. Uh, now all I need is four saplings, one meal, and I think with the half slabs, I'm just going to put them around. Maybe they look better 
like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. So I'll do that later. For now, since I'm on a roll. <laughs> This is from a hole that I covered from a, from a past creeper explosion. I'd probably fill it all up now. Actually. Well, anyway, I'll finish that off. And plant the tree. It's a bone meal. Bam. I got a tree. <laughs> I get to cut down. Huh. That was an interesting shape. I guess maybe I have to make this large maybe not I don't know we'll see so I'll finish this off uh, maybe chop the tree down right now And some lag. And then all the drops show up here. And saplings. So, I guess that's it for this project. Or, or maybe have to ex make this larger. I may shift this over one this way if I do end up making a larger but at the moment I think it's good right now got a, already got a good stack of sapling or dark oak and almost got enough saplings back So, see you in the morning. Hello, and we're back. Uh, I'm here at my wheat farm. And since there, since it produces a lot of wheat, uh, when it's all grown, and then it collects down here. I have a large amount of bales, hay bales. So 
why she could uh why I've been planning on doing in the future is maybe taking it transporting it on rail all the way over to my all the way over to the cow farm to breed them uh, instead of having to come over here and grabbing it and just make it make it a little quicker um, I just have to actually figure out how figure out where I want to build the rail system if I want to have to go over here or like come up here or just where I want it to because I have plenty of rails I just need to figure out all that and how I'm going to get it all the way up here and then back down. I'm thinking maybe I'll use this room or this future room which only has the floor at the moment. Maybe have a little compartment back here or right here where the cart comes and it stops. I'm just going to have it stop and where I offload it instead of an automatic loading and unloading. And this will also be for transporting more than just the wheat, but mostly the wheat. Um, but that is uh, project for another time at the moment. Right now, I actually don't remember. <laughs> oh yes, it has to do with arrows as one of the drops. I was I have the mob farm all the way way over there in a little valley on a mountain thing and I was thinking of what I should do because if I want to have it work then I have to go over there and turn it on and I was thinking what I could do to make it consistently collect drops and I could also turn it off with lights a lighting system and whatnot is put it up on the mountain like right there um, like build another whole system just uh, pretty much the same I was thinking like build it up here and like have it fairly tall but cover the outside so it looks nice and you don't know what it is from the ground um, and then I can if I want to turn it off just flip have it flip a lever like down the storage room it turns on all the lights and 
uh, turns off the hopper, the timer. And then you have a toggleable mob farm. Now if I want to double it, I can go over to the other one, AFK, and also have this one loaded, because since this area is the spawn chunks, it's always loaded. But that would be overkill. So, I don't know. I don't know exactly if I should build it here. Probably will. Or maybe in that little gap behind it. Hmm. I'll try and get over to that gap. Hey, I'm on top. That's where we were before. Uh, and the gap I'm talking about was this one. Just have it rectangular and right here. Mm, I don't know. Have a nice day. Bye.